Today I want to tackle a common urologic misperception. That is, if a man with low testosterone goes on testosterone replacement therapy to raise their testosterone to a normal level, their prostate will become enlarged and they will have urinary symptoms. It's beyond the scope of this video to talk about how prostate enlargement causes urinary symptoms. I've made a separate video on that topic that I'll link below. But prostate enlargement becomes more common as we age and can cause urinary symptoms. How does this all tie in with testosterone? Let's do a little science background. So what is testosterone? Testosterone is a male sex hormone which is made from cholesterol. It then goes inside of the cell where it activates a receptor called the androgen receptor. That receptor then goes inside of the nucleus of the cell where it then turns on certain genes and causes the production of certain proteins that creates male characteristics. A famous way of looking at this is to consider the only urologist who has won a Nobel Prize. Charles Huggins showed that men with metastatic prostate cancer or prostate cancer which had spread from the prostate to the lymph nodes and bones, if they underwent an orchiectomy and had their testicles removed, thus eliminating most of their testosterone, they had significant improvement in their disease. So this established that the prostate is a hormone-sensitive organ. Further examples of this include a disease called androgen insensitivity syndrome, where the androgen receptor is defective and testosterone cannot do its work. In these folks, no prostate develops. In fact, no sexual characteristics develop at all. So we know that the prostate is a hormone-sensitive organ. So the assumption behind this myth is that more testosterone will always mean more growth of the prostate. Well, is this true? It appears not to be true. And there is a theory called the saturation theory, which says above a certain level of testosterone, the prostate is not going to respond any further. It appears that the prostate somewhere between 250 and 300 maxes out, meaning that it cannot see or receive the activity of more testosterone at that point. And once you go above 300, adding more testosterone to the picture doesn't change the prostate. Now keep in mind that a normal testosterone is somewhere between 3 and 800. So a normal testosterone has already maxed out its capacity to work within the prostate. So according to this theory, if I have a man with a testosterone of 100 and I raise it to 300, he may have some growth of the prostate. But if I have a man with a testosterone of 300 and raise it to 600, his prostate doesn't really see that increase in testosterone anymore. So by the logic behind this initial myth, we would want to lower the testosterone in all men so that their prostate would become smaller. So most men have a normal testosterone somewhere between 3 and 800 and have a normal sized prostate. So a normal testosterone resulting from testosterone replacement therapy should not cause further enlargement of the prostate according to this saturation theory. Well, is this borne out in real world data? The answer is yes. I did a comprehensive review of this topic as a fellow and wrote a paper looking at a number of questions with how the prostate responds to testosterone. We ask a couple of questions in the literature. One, urinary symptoms, what we call LUTs, how do they respond to testosterone replacement therapy? Well, according to the initial myth, prostate growth would cause worsening symptoms in all men on testosterone replacement therapy. But the data shows there's probably actually some improvement in urinary symptoms in men who go on testosterone replacement therapy. And the theory behind that is that decreased inflammation because of the testosterone replacement actually causes the improvement. So there's no worsening of urinary symptoms in men on testosterone replacement therapy. Two, does the prostate grow in size in response to testosterone replacement therapy? The studies are mixed. Looking at MRI and ultrasound data, there may be some growth, and it probably depends on the starting testosterone. If the testosterone was very low or below 300, men may experience some growth. Uh, but on the whole, growth was not extremely significant using ultrasound and MRI studies. 
Now, interestingly, it does appear that the PSA tends to go up a bit in men on testosterone replacement therapy, and we definitely see this in clinical practice. Okay, so the punchline is testosterone replacement therapy is safe for men with a normal sized prostate and enlarged prostate. The testosterone replacement therapy is not going to increase their risk of urinary symptoms or complications from an enlarged prostate. So the decision to initiate testosterone replacement therapy should be based on laboratory values and the symptoms that the man has. Now, the topic of patients who've had treatment for prostate cancer is more complicated than you might think, and it's going to be beyond the scope of this video. But for men who are just concerned about urinary symptoms and enlargement of the prostate, testosterone replacement therapy is safe and should not be avoided.